I was speaking to my cousin the other night about targeted ads on his home network, being that his kids are seeing ads on their devices that were clearly targeted towards him, and mentioned about setting up and installing Pi Hole on his home network. I have a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, but I do use that for the odd thing once in a while. And on a Raspberry Pi 0W, but without having onboard Ethernet, it just didn't seem like a very good fit. It was also low on RAM and single core, and it just doesn't tend to always work out so well for projects. So I started looking at other single board computer options, something inexpensive, something cheap. So then I had the answer sitting right in front of my face. I've had these Banana Pi uh, SBCs, well, four of them, from a project another group did. And when they were finished with them, they didn't want them back and said, well, yeah, you can keep them. Do, do, I, well, do what you like with them. So I started looking into the status of where this board is at. An all winter A20. Very familiar with that from Android TV boxes. And it seems that this was not a very much loved device and kind of misunderstood. Uh, the network switch on it doesn't really suit the needs as being a router, being that it should have dual LAN. Uh, the SATA connection was not powerful enough for adding hard drives with frustrated users, and I don't need that in this case. But it seems that the product has kind of been left behind and left for dead. Uh, but still very usable. And I wanted to make sure, see that I could I could still use it for something before recycling it. So I found some images that were a few years old that people have shared. And uh, found a one that was from mid-2020. It was on kernel 419. Everything booted fine. But I wanted to see if I could just compile my own image you know just for security reasons and and being a little more up to date i came across nico d's video which i'll put a link up in the corner uh on how to just simply run armbian script even with unsupported older boards to build a newer image and i then knew that i was on the right path uh to getting my own OS image for this device. Armbian has done a fantastic job of building an OS image for these boards and this script worked absolutely great. It actually surprised me in that it's using a Linux 510 kernel which also has uh, mainstream support for the Broadcom switch in this machine so I had very high hopes that everything was going to work well and it did so i set up this vm just so i didn't have to touch my main machine and it is easy as just following uh, their simple commands here firing up a terminal i've already cloned the build directory i want to have caps lock on Selected a full image for flashing. Now change kernel configuration. Show the unsupported boards. And as I scroll down, I will find the LaMobo R1. Select current. I did try it edge. It tried kernel 5.11, it didn't work, but current is downloading kernel 5.10, which is very up to date. Wanted uh, Debian Buster. Simple server with no environment. And a minimal image with just a console. And you just wait for the uh, system to build the image. Doesn't take too long, it depends. I'm running this on a Ryzen 2600, overclocked at 4.2, and the virtual machine has four cores. Then it was just a matter of installing the SD card, connecting the Banana Pi to my portable monitor, an old keyboard, finish setup, and she was up and running with kernel 510. I've had this running overnight. It hasn't crashed. It's extremely stable. It doesn't go over 50 degrees. 
I'm extremely happy how this is working. So here you can see I've now SSH'd into the banana pie. It's all set up, all up to date. It's currently running pie hole and cockpit for some web management as my cousin will not be SSHing into the machine. The CPU governor is working. The Pi, Pi is clocking up and down properly. Uh, please kind of ignore this DHCP address. It just has to do with the way the uh, networking is with the switch. Uh, everything, is, all the five ports are bridged through ETH zero. Uh, and since it's using the naming devices, it's a little weird as you'll see the ports are tagged as WAN, LAN 1, LAN 2, LAN 3, LAN 4, and they all go through ETH zero. Once I installed Pi-hole, for whatever reason, DHCP is showing up. Even if I disable it, it comes back, but it's not affecting anything. Everything is working fine. WAN is my main port. I'm not using the other ports. We're not using VLANs. I'm not using the wireless. So how good is the networking? Little iPerf test. Um, it does okay. You'll see that it hits uh, clients. We'll see we'll hit about 500 megabit. Which again, if this device is just purely doing DNS queries, that's absolutely perfect. I couldn't ask for more. So here's Pi Hole up and running. See the CPU load is extremely low. I've not seen the temperatures go over 50 degrees in the case. I was doing some testing last night. I've added a couple lists. I added two custom lists just in testing last night. Hit a bunch of websites. Seems to be working extremely well, extremely quick. You can see some of the blocks from last night, making sure all the ads are working and it, and it just works. I had the machine running overnight, didn't crash, no stability problems, no problems. This is going to work extremely well and extremely quick. To have some sort of web management, I also installed cockpit to the banana pie so my cousin can easily update system packages, check the storage, and get a general overview of the system. Again, uses very little resources. You can see just from here, I'm using 1.1% of the one gig of RAM in this machine. You can see right now I'm using 105 megabytes of RAM with Copilot and Pi-hole running on the device. So all in all, I'm really happy how this little project worked out. I have a couple other boxes and I believe I might make a couple more for family members. So yeah, it was a fun little project. If you have any questions of getting Arbion running or Pi-hole, you can comment below. I try to reply to most people. Uh, and well, thanks for watching.